Good day, grade 2 pupils. Welcome to the wonderful world of English. Let's explore and learn new things in our last episode of Quarter 1. Get ready your learning activity sheet, Quarter 1, Week 8. Paper and pen, too. Is everyone fine today? It's nice to know that everyone is healthy and happy. I am sure that you will gain new learnings as we study identifying the elements of a story. Theme, setting, characters, and events. I am Teacher Ivy, your teacher for today. Stay tuned in and I hope you will enjoy the rest of the episode. Before we go on, let's have a review. In the last episode, we studied about verbs or action words. Now, look at these beautiful flowers. Help me pick the flowers with action words on them. So these are the flowers with action words. Let's read them. Swim, dance, pray, cook, and sing. Thank you for helping me pick the right flowers, kids. Now let's go back to our classroom. Come on. Let me ask you this. Do you like to read? What kind of stories do you love to read? Wow! I'm happy to know that you love to read different kind of stories. Did you know, children, that stories have four basic elements such as theme, setting, characters, and events? The theme refers to the main idea of the story. This tells the moral lesson of the story. Example, there is a time for work and a time for play. Little friends may prove to be great friends. The setting is the place where the story happens and the time when it happens. The setting answers the questions of where and when. Example, the story happens in the rice field one summer day. The story happens in the jungle one day. On the other hand, the characters are the people or animals involved in the story. Example, ant grasshopper, little red riding hood, wolf, mother, grandma, woodcutter. While the events are the series or order of events. Example, beginning, little red riding hood sets out across the forest to visit her sick grandmother. Middle, Little Red Riding Hood finds out that the wolf pretended to be her grandma. And the woodman helps Little Red Riding Hood. Grandma hugs her. So those are the basic elements of a story. I know you understand our discussion. Let us now proceed to practice exercises. Now, let's try to answer the practice task 1. Study the picture and choose the letter that tells the name of the given picture. Who's the character? Number 1. Peter Pan is a little boy who decided never to grow up. A. Peter Pan B. Boys C. Grow up. Number 2. There were fairies living in the woods. A. Fairies. 
B. Owl C. Woods Number 3 The ant saves for rainy days A. Ant B. Grasshopper C. Rainy days Let's check if you got the correct answers. For number one, the answer is A. Peter Pan. Number two, the correct answer is A. Fairies. And number three, A. Ant. How smart! You got them right! For practice task two, Underline the word or words that tell or tells about place and encircle the word or words that tell or tells about time. Underline the word or words that tell or tells about place and encircle the word or words that tell or tells about time. The first one is done for you. Long time ago, Little Red Riding Hood lived in the forest. What's the setting? Long time ago tells about time and forest tells about place. Number one. Once upon a time, Cinderella and the prince lived in the palace. What's the setting? Once upon a time tells about time and in the palace tells about place. Number two, one summer day in the rice field, the ant was busy preparing food for rainy days. The right answer is, one summer day tells about time and in the rice field tells about place. Hooray for you! Let's move on to practice task 3. Join me in reading the story. Then, complete the story map that follows. Choose the correct answers from the box. Once in a small barrio, a farmer had a good hen that laid a golden egg every day. The egg provided just enough money for the farmer and his wife for their day-to-day -day needs. They were happy for a long time. But one day, the farmer got an idea. He thought, why should I take just one egg a day? Why can't I take all of them at once and make a lot of money? The foolish farmer's wife agreed and decided to cut the hen's stomach open for all the eggs. As soon as they killed the poor hen and opened its stomach, all they found were its internal organs, not one single egg. Now, complete the story map by putting the following words in the proper boxes. Farmer, wife, hen. Once in a small barrio. Do not be greedy. The farmer cut the hen's stomach for all eggs. 
The farmer wanted to have more money. The farmer had a hen that laid a golden egg every day. The boxes are for setting, characters, events, and under events are the beginning, middle, end, and also a box for the theme. Now, one by one, let's put the words to their proper box. Farmer, wife, hen. Awesome! They belong to characters. Once in a small barrio. Yes, it's setting. Next, do not be greedy. That's correct. It's a theme. While the farmer cut the hen's stomach for all eggs, it's end of events. And the farmer wanted to have more money goes to middle of events. Lastly, the farmer had a hen that laid a golden egg every day. Good! That belongs to the beginning of the events. Wow! Way to go! To find out if you understand our lesson, kindly answer the assessment. Read the story, then match the details in column A with the correct story elements in column B. One hot day near a well, a thirsty crow came across a pitcher, which had been full of water. But when he put his beak into the mouth of the pitcher, he cannot reach the water. He kept trying, but then gave up. At last, he came up with an idea. He kept dropping pebbles into the pitcher. Soon, the water rises up to the top and he was able to drink water. For column A, number 1, Thirsty Crow. Number 2, Keep Trying. Do not give up. Number three, one hot day near a well. Here are the choices for column B. A. Setting. B. Character. C. Theme. And for letter B of our assessment, number the events one, two, three, as they happened in the story. The first picture shows the water rises and the thirsty crow was able to drink water. The second picture shows a thirsty crow found a pitcher with water. While the last picture shows he could not reach the water in the pitcher. So he thought of adding pebbles into it. I'll give 15 seconds to answer. Okay kids, time to check your answers. For assessment A, number 1, Thirsty Crow, the answer is B, Character. Number 2, Keep Trying, Do Not Give Up, the answer is C, Theme. And number 3, One Hot Day Near a Well, the answer is A, Setting. So, 
the beginning of the events in the story was the thirsty crow found a pitcher with water that's the first the middle part of event in the story was the crow could not reach the water in the pitcher so he thought of adding pebbles into it that's number two and the end part of the story was the water rises and the thirsty crow was able to drink water high five kids Keep on reading, children, because through reading, you will learn more and more things. And don't forget our lesson on the elements of a story. And what are they again? Can you please cite the elements of a story? Alright! The elements of the story are characters, setting, events, and theme. I am so glad that you learned from our episode today. And that ends our lesson today. I hope you had fun learning while watching this video lesson. Once again, I'm your English teacher, Maria Ivy Bila Sala, saying, Never stop learning. Stay safe and keep on praying. Until next time, bye!